this is Jerry Walsh from Brooklyn, New York with Ditch Project. Today we're going to be covering the cast cast and hong drum together. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, for more videos on handpan, didgeridoo, and much more. So the cast cast shaker comes from West Africa and the hong drum which I have here comes from Switzerland. So really cool combination of instruments from different places of the world. The cast cast shaker uh, is a, it looks very tricky and a lot of people when they first pick it up have no idea how to do it and they tend to um, do it completely incorrectly although it is something that can be learned pretty easily once you just get the simple trick that the way we uh, activate the sound is not through the wrist but through the elbow <laughs> So the first thing to start the cast cast is these two seeds on a piece of string tied together. The first thing you want to do is take the first seed and you want to stick it between your index and your middle finger. So it's resting like this, where the seed is uh, at the base of the two fingers, tucked and you're holding it not too tight and not too loose in the middle of the two fingers. Then you want to bring the uh, second seed and wrap it around the uh, back of the hand, bring it into the palm so you're tucking and holding on to both. And then the first thing you want to do is really understand that the entire motion of the steady rhythm is created by activating and sustaining the motion of the elbow. Nothing to do with the wrist. When everyone picks up this instrument, the first thing they do is start twisting the wrist and the arm like this. This is the wrong thing to do. So just to show you the wrong thing to do first, do that like this. This is what everyone does because the motion seems to trick them into thinking that's what it is. But if you observe, it's very different when done from the elbow. A lot more calm, a lot more collected, a lot more control, and a lot more steady in the rhythm and you're able to hold it in a very uh, methodical way. That being said, the first thing we want to do is to just deprogram any idea that's coming from the wrist and just when holding the instrument correctly, we want to just start to bring the elbow up and down like this, just this motion. First step is just doing this, just getting used to that. And then what we can do is on the moment we come down, we want to let go of the bottom seed. So it's going to look like this, going back and forth and then let go. Now all I'm doing is stopping. And as I'm stopping the motion at my elbow, I'm letting go and that motion of the stop and the kind of, I guess, juxtaposition of the energy brings the ball over the top of the hand. But I'm not twisting it, I'm not turning it, I'm not trying to throw the ball or anything, I'm just letting gravity and the oppositional forces move the instrument itself. Once again, we're just gonna be doing this slowly to start. It's better always to do these things really slow before we get into a fast motion and then just let go when we come down. And you, as you let go, you want to stop abruptly with, from the elbow and the whole arm is going to stop. So that's it. That's the whole motion right there. So now we can speed it up a little bit once we've mastered that. Stop. So then the motion now becomes this kind of thing, it's a shake, as opposed to just, there's a kind of like, the horse kind of galloping kind of uh, motion. So what we wanna do then to keep it sustained is we wanna have that horse galloping motion and we wanna let it go and then catch it, then let it go, catch it, let it go, catch it, let it go, catch it. Let it go, catch it, let it go, catch it. And then to speed it up really fast, to get it going like this, we're not catching it, we're not stopping it. We are just simply allowing the seed to come in, we're feeling it, and then we're letting it go basically as soon as we've kind of like made contact with it. So it's not a grip, it's just like a gentle embrace of the seed, let it go, 
gentle embrace, let it go. Just that general motion of a coming and going. We're kind of just holding the supportive space for the instrument to kind of come into that area. And then we're just letting it go. Uh, the entire motion just coming in from the elbow. So the key thing to start with, if uh, you're getting too ahead of yourself with this and you're finding it tricky, is just to come back to those first two steps. That's kind of the essence of the whole instrument. Just doing this to start with, up and down, nothing fancy, just steady up and down, and then stopping when you get down and then letting go at the same time. So that's kind of the essence of the cast cast in and of itself. And then from there, uh, I like to take my non-dominant hand, I'm left-handed, so I have the cast cast in my left hand, take my non-dominant hand and just kind of play the same rhythm that I'm holding with the shaker. So it's... demonstration of what you can do with the cast cast and the hand pan kind of put together activating the voice uh, you can get really creative and experiment with it but first thing you do just pick up this instrument and start to work with just the elbow get that going and then from there everything kind of unfolds on its own so best of luck with trying that out and feel free to post any comments or questions in the section below if you would like to learn more about the card gara, which is the tube and throat singing style i was doing with the hand pan and the cast cast and other throat singing techniques and how to create those sounds check out our youtube channel for more videos and tutorials there remember to please subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos on hand pan didgeridoo beatbox throat singing percussion and much more mm -hmm.